Hi there, I just wanted to show you um, a really cool software that I've uh, recently discovered um, after I had a lot of errors coming up um, on my computer, even when it was booting up and uh, computer crashing and freezing and just the uh, computer was really slow and lagging. It was just terrible to use. So uh, I tried a lot of different type of software um, and couldn't really find anything that worked as well as this one. Um, there were some ones that were okay out there, but uh, this one really got all, rid of all my errors. Um, uh, my computer hasn't frozen or crashed since I've installed this, um, and since I've been using it, it's just uh, sped up my computer really nicely. So I'm really happy with this. I thought I'll just share it with everybody. Um, maybe you want to give it a go. Uh, there's a web uh, link displayed on the screen at the moment, so you can go directly to that link, and there's a full review uh, on this software um, and also there's a link to the manufacturer's website to uh, download the software and give it a try for yourself so we'll just go through uh, the items the features that it's actually uh, got um, you can just go to the registry cleaner and, and these are all the registries go through the registries the uh, add and remove programs it goes all those through those files and drivers as well so if you've got old drivers that you don't need anymore which would be slow on your computer then it'll just uh, get rid of all that and all the other history sort of stuff that you don't really need temporary stuff uh, it, get, it gets rid of it for you and it cleans it all up uh, the evidence cleaner here uh, goes through uh, all other parts of your computer and, and if you didn't uh, want uh, want this uh, software to scan any particular area you can just untick it um, untick the box there like so and, and it won't uh, scan that area but it's probably recommended to uh, to just leave it all ticked uh, you know if you're not sure on what you're doing when you're cleaning out your computer just just leave it all ticked uh, it it's all uh, on default uh, it's it's fine to leave it like that the way it is um, it's just other areas results and exclude and all that sort of stuff um, junk cleaner so it goes through your hard drives so I've got three hard drives here the C drive D and M drive and it just goes through all that and, and any junk files that, that it sees that you don't need um, it, it just uh, cleans all that out for you as well which uh, ultimately does speed up your com computer um, backup so you can do a backup of your registry which is good to do every now and then and the restore point as well so you can uh, select a restore point and, and um, restore your computer from a previous date um, these are other areas here also the the features of uh, windows optimizer um, so you just go to the pc optimizer and you can just uh, select different areas of your computer to optimize um, block bad um, ActiveX uh, so it blocks all these nasties uh, on your computer uh, error repair it just uh, goes through errors that it finds and it just uh, repairs them and, and, and it's it's got a lot of other features as well like take mem uh, tweak memory which uh, tunes up your memory and it's ultimately speeds up your computer as well um, so that's a nice little sort of handy feature to have Smart disk uh, defragmentator, um, it def defragmentates your hard drives, so they're all uh, all three listed there, so you can select whichever one you want to do, and, and it'll, uh, it'll defragmentate it and speed up your computer. Optimize internet, um, you can also optimize your internet uh, speed connection, uh, so you can sel select your speed connection there, and it'll just um, speed up your internet, which is a great little handy thing to have as well. Program manager, you've got your startup manager there, so anything any uh, software that are starting up uh, at the time when you're booting up your computer and uh, which is slowing your computer down and, and boot up time you can you can uh, unselect them and uh, it won't start up when you're starting up your computer which is which is a good little thing to have as well uninstall manager uh, these are all the uh, software that you can uninstall uh, which is handy to have all in the one screen here with the same software so just select that and it's uh, easy as uh, just uh, select them whichever and just uninstall which is which is great uh, internet explorer tool so that's uh, a few other features as well you can go through that and uh, yeah and do do a few more cleanups um so yeah there it is uh, the wink the link is uh the web link is on your screen at the moment again so if you wanted to have more information and uh, read more about it just go to that website there and uh, it's got a fair bit of information and also there is a link on that website to take you to the manufacturer's website to download the software and, and to uh, give it a, a go for yourself give it a try and, and see what you think um, the software really did work for me it was um, very good so I thought I'll just share it with everybody in case uh, 
there's people out there that are um, having similar problems to what I did with the computer, which ultimately did save me a little bit of money by not taking it to a computer shop to uh, ha do any repairs to it, um, and uh, and also uh, it saved me reformatting my hard drive, which uh, you know I didn't want to do because uh, there's a lot of uh, files, sensitive files and photos and all that sort of stuff that you got to back up and put it on disk and all that. Uh, it was just a uh, a bit of a pain, um, pain in the neck to do all that. So, so this software really uh, cleaned all those errors up, sped up my computer, and it's uh, it's like it's brand new. So I'm very happy with it, and uh, I hope you will be too. Thank you for watching.